to douse myself with water to go get them. And Todd said, you can't, Kim, you cannot go. I said, I have to get that dog, I love him. Kim Carlson pulled up to her South 6th Avenue home Tuesday afternoon to find it in flames. The fire started on the second floor in a bedroom and inside somewhere was her seven-year-old lab, Coda. I ran up the stairs and I only got about halfway and it was pitch black. The smoke, it's okay, baby, yes, I love you too. Um, the smoke was so thick and so black and I just kept yelling, Coda, Coda, where are you? Because I knew when I left, he was laying on our bed. Firefighters found Coda in that bedroom after they saw a rocking chair moving. When I saw Coda come outside, when they carried him out and I thought for sure he was no longer with us. That's when Jared Thompson and Jamie Giese with the Wassa Fire Department stepped in and did the unthinkable. They brought him outside and he appeared lifeless to us as they were bringing him out. But when we laid him down on the ground, we could see that he was uh, struggling quite a bit to breathe. And uh, that's when we uh, decided to have uh, do a little uh, mouth to snoot resuscitation. A decision that saved Coda's life. Can you say thank you to them firemen, huh? Can you, can you? Today, Coda is doing great and it's all because of those firefighters. This is what we do. I don't care if it's a human, a baby, a child, an animal. This is what we're going to do. We're going to help anybody, anything, anywhere, anytime. And it's something both Coda and Kim will be forever thankful for. It was truly a miracle. And I'm forever grateful to Jared and Jamie and the fire department and the police department. They all did their very best and Todd and I are both grateful. In Wausau, Diana Normand, News Channel 7.